Welcome to Country Cooking. I'm your hostess, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we're going to be making cranberry chicken, wild rice with roasted red peppers, green beans with parmesan and pecans, and a pumpkin magic cake. So we're going to start with the chicken because that takes two hours. So uh, I have a, this recipe you can actually do with chicken breasts or with, a, I'm doing a whole chicken. If you use chicken breasts, you can cut the baking time um, by half an hour, but this requires it to bake for two hours at 425. So I'm going to mix a can of whole cranberry sauce. And a can of cream of mushroom soup. and a packet of onion soup mix. This is so easy, it's almost embarrassing, but uh, it's one of those things that you can get it going, put it in the oven, and, and you don't have to rush at the last minute because when you pull it out of the oven, it's ready to eat. So you just stir that all in together, pour it over the chicken, Okay, we're, I'm using an, an oval baker from Pampered Chef. Uh, it's like a stoneware. You can use a regular roaster if you don't have one. Put the lid on it, and we're gonna get it going. Okay, now we're going to work on the pumpkin magic cake. This cake recipe, I actually found on Facebook and it's really fun because you start with a, a cake mix and you use all the ingredients that are on the box for the cake mix. In this instance, I'm using a Betty Crocker cake mix, a, a yellow cake mix, and it calls for three eggs, a half cup of water, and a half cup of oil. So we're going to mix that together. Okay, now you want to go ahead and mix it just like the directions on the box say for once it's blended, you mix it for two more minutes. So we'll take a break so you don't have to listen to the mixer going, but I want to remind you that if you want any of these recipes and you don't have internet, you can go to call the Valley office and they'd be happy to get you a copy of the recipe. We'll be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for 1 to 4 devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for 5 to 8 devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have 8 devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we've got our cake batter ready here and I have sprayed a 9 by 13 pan with Pam and we'll get this in here. You know, 
spread it to the corners. Okay, now we're going to do the pumpkin layer. So I have a, a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. To that I'm going to add um, a half cup of evaporated milk. A half cup of heavy cream, three eggs, uh, a cup of packed light brown sugar, and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. top of the cake layer and what I do so that it doesn't pour through the cake batter is I kind of guide it with my spatula a little bit like this so it doesn't just plop in you want to cover the batter Okay, now it's ready to bake. Now the magic of this cake is that as it bakes, the pumpkin sinks to the bottom, the cake rises to the top. So when you pull it out of the oven, then it looks like a, a regular cake. It's really cool. Then you've got the pumpkin pie layer on the bottom. You want to carefully carry it over to the oven and put it in. We're going to bake it at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes. The home team advantage. We're going to start getting some of the other things ready. I have a wild rice dish that I have pre cooked one cup of raw wild rice that makes three cups, and I'm adding a can of beef consomme to that. Now to this I'm going to add a half cup of roasted red pepper. You can buy those in your grocery store. They come in a jar and that gives it a nice smoky flavor and it also gives it some nice color. I have a half cup of finely chopped green onions. Two or three tablespoons of parsley and then I have some coarsely chopped almonds that I'm adding to this that'll give it some crunch And it's beautiful. You can see it makes such a nice side dish. And you can never lose with wild rice. Now, the chicken is going to be making a, a little bit of a gravy 
uh, with it. So you can drizzle a little gravy over the top of your rice if you serve it. You can use plain white rice. You can use mashed potatoes if you want. Uh, I just like the color that that a wild rice dish gives. Or you can use a combination of, of rice too. You can use half white and half wild rice. Okay. We're going to cover this when we bake it. I'm not going to put it in yet because we want to wait uh, so that our so that it comes out at the same time that the chicken does. So we'll just set it over here on the side. I'm going to take a quick break and get things cleaned up, but I want to remind you that if you want any of these recipes. Find them on the Valley website. If you don't have internet, just give the girls a call and they'll be happy to get you a copy of the recipe. We'll be right back. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437 2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Okay, we're going to get going on the green beans. Uh, I have a pound of green beans that I've trimmed the ends and cut to about two inch pieces. And uh, we're going to make the topping first. This is a cup of, of coarse breadcrumbs. To that, I'm going to add uh, 3 fourths cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm using freshly grated. And uh, this is uh, a fourth cup of finely chopped pecans. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil so that it kind of helps everything bind a little bit. You can, if you want to, you can pulse this together in a, in a blender or something like that, but I think it works just as well to do it the old-fashioned way and just stir it up together. And that's going to make a crunchy kind of a smoky topping for the beans. Okay, so now to the beans, we are going to add uh, two ounces of crumbled feta cheese, a fourth teaspoon of kosher salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, whipping cream, mix that all together. And I'm putting it in an 8 by 8 glass pan. Okay, we're going to start out by baking this for uh, about 20 minutes at 400 and then we're going to add the crumble topping for another 10 minutes. So we'll get this going. Okay, I'm gonna take just a quick break, clean up, and then uh, I think the cake is ready to come out and we'll frost that. I'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. High definition and caller ID is now free with all TV packages. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to find out more. Okay, I pulled the cake out of the oven. As you can see, the pumpkin is sunk to the bottom and the top is just the cake. So um, 
this is best when it's chilled so you want to make sure that it cools down so that the frosting doesn't melt right away so we're going to start with uh, a box of vanilla instant pudding I'm using the sugar free you don't have to you can use regular uh, but it works fine that way too a cup of cold milk and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice to whisk that for a couple minutes till it starts to thicken. And then I have a eight ounce carton of Cool Whip. And I've told you before, if you've watched before, you want to stir your Cool Whip up before you uh, in incorporate it into your ingredients so that it's, it's well blended and fluffy. This is the time of year where um, pumpkin is such a nice thing to make. It smells so good when you walk in the house. And and this is something you can make up in advance. Have it in the refrigerator and, and pull it out when you're ready to serve. Okay. That's pretty thick, so we're going to stir up the Cool Whip. Looks like that. Now, you can kind of see the, the flecks of the pumpkin pie spice, but if you want it to just look a little more uh, decorative, you can just kind of do the sprinkle over the top like this. So that it looks like that. And we're ready to serve that, so we'll set it over here on the side. Uh, it's probably about time to put the crumb topping on, on the beans, so we'll take that out. and. back in the oven and let that finish up. And just a few minutes, everything will be ready and we'll eat. Be right back. 
Valley Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecan computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swag. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. Okay, we've got the chicken out. We're going to get out the vegetables and the rice. to take a look at how good that looks it's just a wonderful you can and if you have a a, um, a baker like this you can go ahead and just put it right on the table and let people help themselves with that so we'll go ahead and cut a slice on Now if you look at this, you can see that the I didn't get all the pumpkin out on the side there, but if you look at it closely then you can see that the pumpkin has sunk to the bottom and then the cake is on the top. So it's, that's why it's called the pumpkin, the magic pumpkin cake. So we have our, our cranberry chicken, our green beans, our wild rice, and the pumpkin cake. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time.